three-digit addition with regrouping. We need to regroup. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning how to add three-digit numbers with regrouping. You already know how to solve two-digit addition problems with regrouping, so today we are going to build on that knowledge. We are going to add one more step and learn how to solve three-digit addition problems with regrouping. So here you see the problem 48 plus 25. To solve this problem, we always start, start, start on the right in the ones place. And eight ones plus five ones equals 13 ones. Uh-oh. Can we write a 13 in the ones place? Stop. You cannot put a two-digit number in the ones place. <laughs> Oopsie, whoopsie. Oops, I almost forgot that. Thank you for reminding me. We need to regroup these ones into a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, I'm gonna carry that 10 over to the tens place. And let's see how many ones I have left. Okay, so I have three ones left. After I regrouped, I had three ones left. So I'm gonna write a three in my ones place. But eight plus five is not three, it's 13. So I have to remember that I carried one 10 over to the tens place. So I'm gonna write one 10 over the tens place. And now I'm gonna add all my tens together. One 10 plus four tens plus two tens equals seven tens. 48 plus 25 equals 73. See, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. All right, are you ready? Now let's try adding three digit numbers with regrouping. Here we have the problem, 258 plus 124. All right, to solve this problem, we're going to start, start, start on the right in the ones place. Eight ones plus four ones equals 12 ones. And we know that we usually represent 12 with a tens rod and two ones, right? 10, 11, 12. We need to regroup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm going to carry that ten over to the tens place. And I'm going to see how many ones do I have left now. I have two ones left. So I'm going to write a two in my ones place. And we can't forget that we carried one ten. So I'm going to write one in my tens place here. Now I'm going to add my tens. One ten plus five tens plus two tens equals eight tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. All right. And I didn't have to carry anything, so I'm going to add my hundreds. I have one, two, three. Two plus one is three hundreds. So 258 plus 124 equals 380. Two, right? One, two, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two. All right, let's do another one together. Here we have the problem: one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy-nine. One hundred seventy-nine plus one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty-six. 166. To solve this problem, we're going to start, start, start on the right in the ones place. We're going to add together our ones. Nine ones plus six ones equals 15. And can we write 15 in the ones place? No. We know that 15 is represented as 110 and five ones. 
So we need to regroup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to carry that count over to the tenth place. All right. And how many ones do I have left? All right. I have five ones left. So I'm going to write a five in my ones place. But nine plus six is not five. It's 15, so I have to remember to write that I carried my 10 to the tens place. All right, so over here I'm gonna write that I carried one 10. All right, now I'm gonna add up my tens. One 10 plus seven tens plus six tens. My goodness, that's a lot of tens. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 tens, uh-oh, can we write a 14 in the tens place? <clears throat> Stop, you cannot write a 14 in the tens place. No. 14 tens is the same as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 10, 20, 30, 40. 14 tens equals 140. So what do we need to do? We need to regroup. All right, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, I'm gonna carry that 100 over to the hundredth place. And how many tens do I have left now? I have four tens left. All right, but one plus seven plus six is not four tens, it was 14 tens. So we can't forget that we carried this hundred over here. So over here, we're gonna write 100. We carried 100 to the hundreds place. All right, now we're gonna add up our hundreds. One plus one plus one equals three hundreds. So 179 plus 166 equals 345, right? 1, 2, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And isn't that so much easier to count than it was when we had all of the tens there? It is. It's so much easier to count when we regroup things. All right, let's try this problem. 458 plus 298. We're gonna start, start, start on the right in our ones place. And we know that eight plus eight is 16. And 16 is represented as a 10 and six ones. So we're gonna leave the ones in the ones place and we're gonna carry the 10 to the 10th place. So six ones and one 10. All right, now we're gonna add our 10s. One ten plus five tens plus nine tens equals fifteen tens. And fifteen tens is the same as one hundred and five tens. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we're gonna leave the tens in the tenth place and we're gonna carry the hundred. Okay, so we're leaving five tens down here and we carried 100. All right, now we're gonna add up our hundreds. 100 plus four hundreds plus two hundreds equals seven hundreds. So 458 plus 298 equals 756. All right, let's try it without the base 10 blocks now. We're gonna start, start, start on the right in a ones place. And the problem we're solving is 689 plus 278. All right, so nine plus eight is 17. So we're gonna leave the seven down here and carry the one, because nine plus eight is not seven, it's 17. So see if you kinda imagine the circle, this diagonal circle here, it will help you remember that it's not seven, it's 17. Okay, then we're gonna add up our tens. One ten plus eight ten plus seven tens equals 16. Okay, it doesn't equal six tens, it equals 16 tens. So we're gonna make sure we carry one 100 up here. And then you can imagine that line again. Here's 16. All right, now we add our hundreds. 100 plus 600 plus two hundreds equals nine hundreds. All right, one last time. 
Okay, I promise this is the last one. 193 plus 175. Okay, we're gonna start, start, start on the right. Three plus five is eight. Okay, that's it, it's just eight. It's not 18, we didn't have to carry anything. It's just eight ones, eight ones can stay there. It's a single digit, okay? Then we go to our tens place. Nine plus seven equals 16. So nine tens plus seven tens equals 16 tens. And remember 16 tens is the same as 106 tens. So we're gonna leave the six down here and carry the one here. And see, that's 16, 16. All right, now we add our hundreds. One, two, three, three hundreds. So 193 plus 175 was 368. All right, now you try it. This week you guys have five decks to work on and I know that this first one's gonna be really hard because this is a new skill and it's supposed to be hard, but I promise as you practice, it's gonna get easier and easier and easier. And by deck five, you're gonna have it down. All right guys, I know you're gonna do great. Have fun and good luck.